Hey there, everybody, so enthusiast. I'm Dan Freeman of Dr. Dan's, uh, hence the t-shirt. Uh, we're a Bidey Soul retailer. Uh, Bidey Soul gets blamed for everything in the world from flat tires to mice to blowing up your engine. Uh, and uh, most of the time it's not guilty at all. Almost all the time it's not guilty at all. So we're just going to go over some of the things that uh, can, it can be typically blamed on or some of the typical stuff that can happen to your TDI. Um, this is a uh, uh, a TDI ALH, so this is from uh, you know early uh, 2000 to 2003. You know by far the most popular. The uh, first thing that you always want to check is uh, for fuel filter. Does it need a fuel filter? Biodiesel cleans out your fuel tanks. Whatever garbage is in your fuel tank is going to end up in your fuel filter. Doesn't take much to plug it. It's not a huge filter. Um, and then uh, if the engine doesn't get enough fuel, that's going to affect the way it runs. That's hard on the injection pump. So uh, any time that your car runs any differently at all, first thing you should do is put a fuel filter on it. Don't bother diagnosing it. Uh, just put a fuel filter on it and see if it made a difference or not. And then we drain the fuel filter into something to see what came out of it. Something came out of it. That means that you had some stuff in the tank, and there's no doubt is some more stuff in the tank. So just because you change the filter doesn't mean that you got rid of all the stuff. Uh, it's very important to only put in good quality, clean, filtered fuel. That's my mantra. Good quality, clean, filtered fuel. If you go to the gas station and buy basically unfiltered fuel full of dirt, water, and bacteria, where's that going to end up? Um, in your fuel filter. So let's just go over some of the things uh, on this. Uh, this car uh, came to us with uh, low power. Uh, these should be you know pretty darn zippy as in fast and this one definitely wasn't. Uh, this one has a clear fuel lines and if you see air in here that's a, a bad sign. Fuel restriction. Um, there is a filter the uh, another major issue is the uh, air filter. Diesels use a lot of air, so it's really important that they have a very clean uh, air filter that doesn't have any restriction. Also, there is a snout uh, that goes from the air filter up to the front grill, and down here beside the the battery is what's called a snow screen. That's a little screen, it gets filled with uh, dirt, bugs, grass clippings, you, you name it, all kinds of gross stuff, and it uh, completely choke off the performance of the vehicle. Uh, another thing that happens is that the uh, intake manifold can get plugged up. Um, when the intake manifold gets plugged up, it's because of a bad mass airflow sensor. That's its sensor right here. It measures the amount of air that goes into the motor. Um, there's a new updated sensor that works uh, much better. What happens when that sensor goes bad is it gives the computer bad information and then it squirts in too much exhaust into the EGR and then that just coats the intake manifold with soot. So it's a pretty toxic combination. Bidiesel gets blamed for that all the time. Even now, uh, regular cars, you know, regular diesel cars have never seen biodiesel do it. And we've actually had people that have had to have their intake manifold cleaned out a couple times until I uh, convinced them they needed a mass airflow sensor and then the, the problem went away. Um, the, uh, it's really easy to check, uh, see if the intake is plugged. You just uh, take off this clamp and, and look inside. Uh, uh, other issues are uh, hoses. Uh, if you have any kind of a fuel leak, it will make a big mess, and of course that will affect the way that it runs. And then all these vacuum hoses, these control hoses, they control um, the turbo, the, uh, um, the uh, anti-shutter valve here, all kinds of stuff. So if any of these hoses are all chewed up, it's going to affect the way that the car runs. There's one hose that goes from here. This is the valve that controls the turbo. 
back through all this stuff down to the turbo. The turbo is actually controlled by a vacuum, so any leak in that system and, and that's not going to work right. Uh, so quick visual on that. And um, uh, dun -da -da. internal engine timing. If it's had a, a timing belt and then uh, all of a sudden it doesn't run right, chances are that uh, it wasn't timed right. Um, and some of uh, pressure relief valve. The uh, on the, the newer cars, the PDs, the uh, O4s, and newer, it has an electric fuel pump in the fuel tank, um, which looks like that. You can see the little pump there. It doesn't really look that different than the earlier cars, which doesn't. But this pump fails all the time, even on some fairly new cars and so it helps push the fuel up to the motor if it doesn't have this or it fails intermittently it's going to affect uh, how the car runs how much power it makes uh, so that's pretty darn important and uh yeah and then there's a uh, a little pressure relief valve on the injection pump there um we'll uh show you all these things in detail and in just a little bit here. See you soon.